Yes, guys, welcome to another video. It's your boy, Sam. And yeah, I'm really excited for this video because I feel this is when we actually start to program. And I know the previous video was more about, you know, creating the API key, also going through the whole process, the game plan and all that. But in this video, we'll actually start doing some coding. So yeah, hope you're as excited as I am. You know the usual, you know, like, subscribe, share to friends that, you know, are interested in stuff like this. But in general, let's get into this. So. You can see here that we kind of have an overview of what this video is going to be about. And um, we're setting up a Python environment to use ChatGPT. That's the goal of this video. And the way we're going to do this is I do feel there are two prerequisites. So for you to be able to do this, you need to have Python downloaded. This is the link if you've not downloaded Python previously. And you need to also have Visual Studio Code. This is going to be our code editor. This is where all the magic is going to be happening from. So yeah, make sure you have this to um, two things done i have videos that have actually done this like how to download python how to download visual studio code i'll put them down in the description below if you don't but yeah it doesn't also have to be videos visual studio code it could also be pycharm but i think it's better if you use visual studio code because that's what i will be using in this video so just makes it easier on your part now the main thing of this video is we want to be able to create a virtual environment and there are multiple reasons why we want to be able to do this. It just makes it easier. It makes our work more cleaner. And also, when we start downloading and installing the different packages, it makes sure that all those packages are installed in our virtual environment. So it just makes it more seamless in general. Uh, yeah, you'll see how the whole magic is going to happen in general. I will walk you through everything. But yeah, that's the outline of this video. That's what we're going to be going through. We're we'll working directly with the terminal on Visual Studio Code. But yeah, guys, um, that's really it. And now let's go to Visual Studio Codes and let's start doing some, you know, programming. So here you can see that I have Visual Studio Code here. It's a new file, like a new editor in general. Made sure that, yeah, you can see I have some previous projects that I've been working on here. But what we're going to do here is for us to really start using it well, we need to create a folder. And the way we create this folder is we need to go to our C drive and create a folder there. That way it just makes it more easier for us. Now I have my C drive right here. What I will do is I'll create my um, folder. I'll just do here, new, create folder. I'll call it AI agent. Class, AI agent class. Um, also, just to make it a little bit cleaner, remove the capital AI agent class. So this is my new folder. And what we need to do next is we need to be able to go to that folder from here. So what I'll do is I'll go to open folders and then go to my C drive. And gen class open select folder. Now we're in this folder. Um yeah, I trust, whatever. Um, so now we're in this folder. But the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our terminal. And one thing, you just click here, click on New Terminal. And one thing that we are going to do here is we are not going to be using the PowerShell. And the reason is because we've seen that um, for testing, when using the PowerShell, uh, we do get into problems. We do get, because there are a lot of permissions that are required with the PowerShell, especially administrative permissions. So what we're going to do is instead of using the PowerShell, we're just going to click on this right here. Uh, we're going to use the command prompt. Um, I find this to be, you know, better. It, like we don't get the issues we get, especially when you're using Windows, because this only applies for Windows. If you're using Mac, there's only one, there's one, only one terminal, so you don't have that issue. But with Windows, it's always better to use the command prompt. So that's what we're going to use here. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to install our virtual environment. So we say Python dash M V E N V dot E N V. You know, is that you can see this is created right here. We do have our virtual environment, um, which is essential for what we want to do here. And the next part is we need to activate it. And the reason why we need to activate it is if you go to our file, you can see here scripts. 
and you can see I activate. So this is how we're going to activate it. We're going to actually call this and also activate it by doing this. And the way we do that is we say dot env scripts slash activate. And now you can see here that we're in our virtual environment. It has been activated. So I see this before our OC drive. And the next part is now that we've done this, we need to install OpenAI. And we do this by saying pip install OpenAI. I already have installed it, but you will need to install it again. Mine is showing already, requirements already satisfied, but yours is going to show something different. And now you can see that we have here OpenAI and we have all the libraries, the dependencies, everything has been installed and we're ready to start programming, guys. And yeah, just make sure that you always use the command shell and make sure that you create the file and make sure that in the Explorer you are in the folder that you created. So this way, whenever you click on the terminal, it takes you straight to the folder and you don't have to direct yourself manually there. But yeah, that's it. And super happy, guys, for this because uh, the next part we are going to start um, programming more. This was just setting up the environment. And in the previous video, we created the API key. And now we're going to be able to use the API key in our programs, in our virtual environment. And in our virtual environment, we downloaded all the packages necessary. We downloaded OpenAI, created a virtual environment. And yeah, we're super ready for the next stage. I'm very excited for this. Um, hope you are too and look forward to the next video that's going to be dropping and you know what to do subscribe like share the video and see you on the next one